Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you are doing well. Let's start another uh, objective uh, of our topic that we have already started in previous uh, class that is industrial development. First, before starting today's objective, let's do a short recap uh, to, uh, to review what we have done in the previous class. In the previous class, we did discuss about what are industries, how many types of industries are there, and uh, in what two categories we divide uh, um, industries, like for example, according to function, we have divided uh, industries and according to size, we have divided industries. Then, uh, like according to function, we have discussed that industries are divided into three types, prim uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary, and then quarterly also we did discuss. And then according to size, large scale, medium and small scale, small and cottage scale industries we have discussed, right? And then uh, uh, for all these types of industries, we discussed the, import uh, the importance and its characteristics also we did, we did discuss in detail, right, Beta? Now today, uh, my objective is uh, first we will identify industry as a system. Right, and then second objective would be that inshallah we'll achieve it in this class. That is factors affecting on industrial location. Let's start from our first objective: industry as a system. Okay, whenever we study about industry or we uh, we observe an industry, right? Any type of industry, whether or or a factory also, where where, where manufacturing is done, right? So there we, uh, we, uh, we, we observe all the time that uh, there are some input processes and outputs uh, are there, right? Input, what is input? Input is basically that what we give to our industry in order to get an output, right? It could be a capital, capital means money, right? Then uh, a land, the type of land, right? Some of the physical inputs are also there, some of the uh, human inputs are also there that we include in this. Uh, we have we already studied uh, industry as a system when in grade nines when uh, we study agriculture uh, agricultural development. There also we um, categorized input into uh, physical inputs and human inputs, right? Like uh, physical inputs, land comes under physical input. Okay, then uh, raw material is also there. In raw material. Uh, then uh, that is also a physical input that we uh, give it to our industry uh, in order to get an output. Then power, labor force, entrepreneur, right? These all uh, uh, for investment that is required, right? Okay. And then uh, if you talk about processes, right? Each and every industry, it has its own uh, different processes involved. It varies from industry to industry, right? If we talk about cotton textile industry, weaving, knitting, dyeing, washing, uh, all these embroidery, right? all these are the stitching is also there. Uh, all these are uh, the pieces of that are part of cotton textile industry. Then what are outputs? Outputs are basically whatever the result that we get. It, could, it is processed good, right? It could be semi uh, uh, manufactured good or it could be uh, uh, a manufactured good also, right? Semi-finished good, as I said, uh, I must say, and then finished good also uh, could be part of that output, right? Like, for example, what do you mean by semi-finished goods, right? For example, if we talk about uh, semi-cooked food, that uh, that canned food, if I'll give example here, right? That is part of semi-finished good, but again, for that also process processes are involved, right? In order to preserve that food. Then, ultimately profit. And that profit would eventually uh, would be invested again, reinvested to uh, for another process to continue. It's just a cycle, if I, uh, I would say, right? Okay. So uh, as I give you example of uh, a cotton textile industry, right? Or if I'll give you example of agriculture, if I'll consider agriculture as a agriculture industry as a system, right? So input would be uh, if I'll talk about physical input, so physical inputs will, would be again the type of land, 
topography what type of land is required in order to grow crops right and then uh, availability of water right that is also part of um, input and then what else would be there then um, climatic factors are also inclusive that is also an output right that is also we do consider it while for growing of crops right and then what else would be input uh, uh if we'll talk about physical input soil type of soil what type of soil is required for a particular type of crop right availability of water again if the, there are nearby what uh, rivers are there or if there are it depends on rainfall if any irrigation system is also there to store that water right but irrigation again it's a human input right but if we talk about human input for agriculture as a system then there again irrigation will come here fertilizers will come here farm machinery will come here uh hyb seeds will come here skilled labor is there right knowledge about new methods right knowledge and skills are also again human input then insecticides pesticides are also there if we we'll, uh, talk about processes that are involved in agriculture uh, industry then sowing plowing irrigating weeding threshing harvesting etc these all are the processes right those are part of uh, agriculture industry then if we talk about output it depends if it's a cotton field then cotton would be my input if it's a wheat then wheat or i can say a crop would be that input right uh, and then uh, profit also would be there right in terms of money right beta that could be again reinvested so i hope you have understood likewise each and every industry whether it's agriculture industry cotton textile industry iron steel industry or whether it's a small scale industry or large scale industry all industries they uh, possess uh, some of the uh, uh, they follow a system i must say right now the individual task that you need to do in your journal that is you have to think of an industry other than that that i have i have explained just now right other than that a new example should be there then you have to write its input processes and output in your journal that is out of five marks right beta i hope you have understood let me repeat the question once again think of an industry as a system and write its inputs processes and outputs in your journal right out of five marks that is a task that you would be doing it and when you'll come to school i'll check it in your journal inshallah okay now let's talk about factors affecting on industrial location right uh there are multiple factors those are uh, or we can say there are two major factors i would say right uh, we have divided these factors in two major categories like first is physical factor or you can name it as a geographical factors right and another one is human factor or non geographical factor right these two factors are there based on uh, uh, if we want to open our industry right we have to keep these in the, uh, factors in our mind right because based on that only we'll be able to get profit um let's proceed further okay these are some of the factors physical and human those, those are there right in front of you in the screen physical factors again raw material availability of raw material would be there nearby your factory or industry then only it would be feasible for feasible for you to open an industry because if the availability of raw material would be there near uh, would be there nearby your industry for example iron steel industry right if i'll give you example of iron steel industry we will be studying that also when we will be studying iron steel industry so uh, krachi uh, uh, steel mill is located where the raw material are uh, located nearby right for example limestone right uh, that is brought by uh, brought from murli hills that you have attempted that question also in, uh, in uh, mineral resources chapter right and then uh, a large quantity of water is also required that also comes from nearby haleji lake right so what happens due to that transportation cost gets reduced and that money could be invested somewhere else in industry right then another example again water is also a physical factor again i say right then site site means that land right land should be appropriate leveled land should be there in order to open an industry right mm, and then climatic conditions also uh, it, it has also a great impact on uh, the location of industry right beta okay now if we talk about human factor first is capital money right the more capital you invest the more uh, mm, 
you would be able to uh, get more output right it depends because if the capital investment would be more you would be able to uh, buy a, a huge land based on the type of industry also right it depends what type of industry you are going to open it then uh, you will be definitely investing on the input then machinery you would be able to invest on the purchasing of machinery right then again if you would be able to invest in all these uh, things right so definitely output would be great right then power supply also uh, uh, again um, consistent or continuous power supply is required to open an industry that is also we need to keep in mind when we are open, going to open an industry then market very good uh, that's a very important factor market right whenever because uh, my ultimate uh, goal is where whatever i'll produce in my industry it should go to the market and then then only i'll be able to earn profit right so nearby market should be there right for example uh, if we'll talk about uh, again iron steel industry right many industries that use steel products they are located in karachi it also supplies uh, different products that those come out from that iron steel industry uh, for different purposes right so we have a huge market in karachi for iron and steel industry right whatever the products are being produ produced in that industry right beta okay then uh, transport again transport network should be there nearby like proper infrastructure in terms of road railway uh, to uh, reduce transport cost right then again government policies favorable government policies are again are very attractive uh, should be very attractive towards your industry for example cotton uh, textile industry wherever the government incentives would be more definitely um, you would be able to uh, uh, you would be able to get benefit from that right then banking facilities should be nearby again uh, then industrial links also should be there nearby industrial links as i told you gave you example of it could you can you can link industrial link with the market also right for example whatever product i am making if nearby uh different industries they have demand uh for my product definitely like uh, do uh, with that what would happen my industrial link would be enhanced with other other, other industries so my product will go to those industries and i'll i would be able to get more business uh for my product right beta okay so i hope you have understood uh what, what uh, you have understood today's uh, objective that uh, uh how can we take industry as a system right and then uh what are those factors those are affecting on industrial location right now you need to do one more thing uh one more task you need to do it right uh whatever industry you uh, you would be working here right for example whatever the uh, you i gave you this question to attempt in your journal right for same industry i would want you to imagine where would you want to open that industry right for example if uh, i uh, i have if you are thinking about cotton textile industry if you are thinking about any small business also right for example if you are thinking about to open and to open a boutique right to open a general store it's not an industry right koi bhi chota sa right uh, any any small shop right if you want to open it up right so where would you want to open it right and why what would be the reason so you have to keep all these factors in mind that we have just not discussed right keep these factors in your mind and uh, then write it in your journal right so likewise uh, you would be thinking hard and you would be able to make connections uh, whatever being talked to you right beta i hope you have understood uh, inshallah in the next block uh, i'll come with another recording thank you so much and uh, allah hafiz from my side